Hi everyone, welcome back. It's your girl Tasha and I'm here with another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. So today I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some hygiene, body care, bathroom essential type products. I'm just gonna show you guys what I picked up. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you this liquid hand soap that I picked up. It's a coconut milk hand soap. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I pick up a lot of things that have vanilla, coconut, honey, things of that nature. I just like those more calm scents that smell so awesome, but are not gonna like give me a headache at the same time. I specifically picked up this hand soap because it was in a big bottle and it just smells very coconutty. Like you know when you go to the dollar store sometimes and you pick up something, especially like a lotion and you're like, uh, it doesn't have like a strong enough scent so you just pass on it. I like this because I can smell the coconut a lot and for somebody who washes their hands often, I just like to have a nice scent on my hands as well. So yes, this I thought was a good option because it smelled really good and it was a big enough size bottle and it also had a coconut scent to it which I really liked. Next, I picked up an air fresh candle. This was in the scent Tropical Breeze. And the scent was really strong, which I also, which I said I really like that. You know, it's coming from the dollar store and it's not weak in the scent department. And you know that I've said that the prices at the Dollar Tree have changed recently. I noticed that a lot of stuff went up by 25 cents because in Canada we've always well for the longest time that I've known we've had the Dollar Tree to be a dollar 25 and then in the States they've also been saying it's a dollar 25 there now whereas we see a lot of products now they are being raised over here that are a dollar 50 it's not everything but it's a lot of selected items but in particular this candle it was a dollar 50 but I still feel that it was a good buy because the scent is there i'm always picking up candles and i noticed that i'm picking up a lot of these type candles as well i like the other candles for like you know for the mood type thing and sometimes when i'm cooking i need like a different type of candle i notice i put these ones more either in the kitchen and i just have different times where i use these types opposed to the types that will buy at other stores like winners or bath and body works you know i also picked up these bath back scrubbers i picked up this one because it was in a loofah form i don't really like to use a loofah much when i shower i rather use a washcloth or a scrubber but for my back there's nothing wrong with me using this loofah you know i just want to make sure that i'm able to reach back there properly and that it's doing the job and then i picked up this one because it's more on the coarser side This one is just more coarse than the loofah. They're both pretty long. They both, yeah, they both are like the same length. I just wanted to show you that they had different options, whether you like to have a more coarser option or if you prefer a loofah type. I wanted to go with the same type of color scheme for these because I just thought it would just coordinate better and just look better in my bathroom that way. I also picked up these cotton rounds. These are the bigger ones to the ones that I picked up on my last shopping trip. That's why I picked up these ones. These can just work a little bit uh, more efficient, if that's the right word I'm looking for, than the smaller ones. I do use the smaller ones and I use these big ones, but I said that I use those ones for makeup and using for my toner, which I do, but I use these bigger ones more for removing off my makeup, only because it's so that I can only use either one the maximum two if i use the smaller ones i'm going to be using about three or four of those so it just makes more sense for me to use these bigger ones and it's a pack of 50 so there's a lot in here and they are 100 percent premium cotton it's just that these work very well and the fact that they come from a dollar store i told you the other ones i paid a dollar 99 for and these were less it just worked out better for me and they were bigger next i picked up this face mask and this one it was a chamomile nourishing repairing facial mask i like to use face masks when my skin is just you know overly dry it's been through a lot it just needs some awakingness i don't use face masks all the time 
and another thing that you should look out for when buying products like these is just to make sure that the expiry date is not expired this one it says it's expiring in 2024 so i know that we're on the safe side here so yes this is a viva color brand i noticed that the dollar tree has this brand a lot also when i go and i pick up hygiene products for myself i like to pick up certain things for the kids mainly bubble bath they just really enjoy it this was a bubble gum scented flavor there's never enough bubble bath in this house so i picked up these wet naps it's a pack of 18. i normally don't even pick up wet naps i usually just pick up the pack of wipes for your hands but in the aisle that I was in, I could not find any of those wipes for some reason. But I was like, you know what? Let me just get these because what I like about these is that when you have a pack of the wet naps, that could only go in like either your car or your bag. Whereas if you have these wet naps, you can distribute them in everybody's backpack or everybody's bag or in you know in a few cars if you live in a bigger family and you just want to want everybody to be prepared for when they're out there on the road and they need to wipe their hands you could buy one pack and distribute it for everybody if you know what i mean there's a pack of 18 in here i can put a couple in my bag i can put a couple in my car i can put a couple in my kids bag it's just that it's easy to distribute it this way as opposed to just buying one pack and it just being in one spot i noticed that a lot of restaurants they do not give out wet naps so at least you'll be prepared on your own and you'll have them and they're lemon scented yes i thought this was actually a really good buy i don't remember ever picking up wet naps at the store before i'm gonna start doing this more often next i picked up this pummet stone is that how you pronounce it pummet stone I think I pronounced it right. They had a few colors of these and what I liked about this is that it had a grip around the stone. So the pink part is the stone and then the outer part is the grip. It just has really good grip on there. It's very bumpy and you're able to hold it properly and do what you gotta do. I just really like to have these on handy because even if I do get a pedicure, I notice that you know after you go home and you check out your feet yourself after a couple of days it's just not in the greatest state i mean that's normal at least i can touch up things at home or in between getting a pedicure you know i'm still good to go as long as i got one of these i usually get the brushes too and the rest of the kit stuff to get other parts done but having this is just very crucial to me because I, I like to have nice smooth feet. It's not my favorite part of my body, but if I can keep it up kept as best as possible, that's all that matters to me. So just keeping it on the same vibe, I also got this manicure set. Now there is a lot of manicure sets out there. You can go to Walmart and get cheap manicure sets. You know, they're always around the same price range and have like the same type of tools in them. But the reason why I like this one is because it has this pocket that everything is inside. So it's just easier to access everything. And this can be like an on the go type thing. Like if you're going on a little mini vacation, at least everything can hold in this little pocket. So that's why I picked it up and also for some reason I was just like oh look fun file it was glittery so I was like you know that's pretty cute you know and I just like the little casing that it was in so it had the file the scissors the nail clip and the tweezers I really only wanted the tweezer so I hope that works best out of here but even though I wanted the tweezer I know the rest of the stuff is going to come in handy so yes i really liked this type of packaging for these type of things because when everything comes out of the other type of packaging it's like now you're going to transfer it somewhere and then things get lost at least everything will be kept in the same spot in here well hopefully you know because you know how that goes sometimes something gets out and doesn't get returned back in but i'm going to do my best to keep everything in this case i got this dove cream it's a small pack but i needed some cream to put into my bag because the cream that i had it was finished i really like the squeeze bottle ones because you know it's easier to just open squeeze but because this was a cream i was like i i rather creams these days because they just do the job better for me it just moisturizes better for me so i really love creams when they come in these types of packaging 
it's not always the easiest to access because look i'm trying to open it now and it's not it's not oh we got it look at me i thought it was one of those ones that you had to lift but you have to turn okay so it is fine what am i saying so we're gonna see how creamy this is guys it's like that type of consistency it's not as creamy as my other creams yeah, it has a good consistency. It's good. It's not creamy, creamy, but it's not that liquidy either. It's not that loose. But I think this is a good buy for Dollar Tree. Yeah. And there's a good amount in here. This one I'm going to go in my bag. And then most likely it's going to end up in my car. Yeah, it reminds me of the Vaseline brand that I have. That's the way how it feels on my skin. It's intensive care. And it's a good size. I also got this hair catcher this hair catcher is like a1 this is a must especially if you have hair like mine's my hair sheds all the time and when my hair is curly i tend to wash it more often so there's more hair going down the drain and then i have to end up buying like you know that stuff that you pour in the drain to loosen up the hair to get it out of there and then you have to get that tool to like get it out when you got something like this at least you ain't gotta do all of that you want to make sure that you have something in your shower just in case you know there's hair going down the drain just to avoid future problems because i know it can be annoying and your drain is clogged because you know hair just getting all down in there why go through all that just go to the dollar store and grab one of these i'm pretty sure they have them in other stores but they also got them at the dollar store it's just a rubber type it says it fits in most showers and sinks and tubs so it's not in all showers so when you go to the dollar tree just see you know if this is a good size for what you're trying to use it for that was it for my dollar tree haul and i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like comment as well as subscribe hit your bell notification button so that you're always here when I do post until next time I love you guys so much bye